Today we are looking at the Grease Weasel game, but as you may have seen, I've printed off a nice 3D uh, case for it. So this is on Thingiverse, the board sits underneath here and then the drive on top. Really neat solution, I will leave a link in the description and uh, yeah, it just brings everything nice and neat. So, the Grease Weasel game, but what are we going to be pairing it with today? Well. That's right, Pi 400, using Amiberry. So, let's give it a go. So, we're on my Raspberry Pi 400, and if you're wondering how to set up Amiberry, then I recently uh, did a video on doing the whole setup on the Raspberry Pi 400, and this is where we are at the moment with it. So, I've got my trusty Grease Weasel uh, plugged directly into the Raspberry Pi 400, and it's pretty easy setting it up really to be honest so we go go to quick start go choose the Amiga 600 2 megabytes of chip RAM configured just make sure we set the configuration then all the fun happens in the floppy drive section really so uh, we've got this section called drawbridge uh, I haven't got drawbridge in this case it's grease weasel so we select grease weasel here now I must be clear with you in that um, I did have some issues when I was making this video and those of you that have seen the previous videos know that I've used a straight floppy cable uh, which means that I have to set it as drive B uh, and I had some issues uh, with Amiberry sort of like detecting that for some reason so uh, I managed to uh, change to a twisted cable so now it's recognized as drive A and things seem to be a lot better so uh, we've got Grease Weasel, we don't need to tick any of these options here. But at the top where we've got DFO and 3.5 uh, inch double density, we click the drop down, we choose FB and then I'm going to choose compatible mode because yeah, I just want the most compatibility, I want it to be reliable and good. So that's the one I've chosen and then it is literally a case of clicking start. We saw that the drive flashed, that's a good sign. And then, there we go, we've got the uh, kickstart screen showing. So I'm going to put in the uh, Amiga PD Puzzles disc that uh, we wrote in a previous video. So let's bung that in and try it out. And there we go, the drive is wearing away and doing its thing. And you can see up on the screen, yeah, the menu is loaded up. Um, this looks like it's working. So you've got the closest kind of thing in emulation, I feel, apart from sort of like putting it into a real Amiga um, case. Raspberry Pi 400 is a nice, neat little device um, that you can run Amiga emulation on, loads of other em uh, emulators as well. But the ability now to get a USB cable out and then into the Grease Weasel drive like this is pretty amazing. It allows people to basically, if you've got a large collection of Amiga floppy disks, maybe um, they're creations that you've made yourself. Um, so they're not out there on the internet, uh, like the massive library of, of games that there is um, on the internet now. Uh, but maybe they are creations uh, and things that you made yourself back in the day. So the, the only copy of those discs maybe might be just here um, and nowhere else. So the tools like Grease Weasel, which is pretty inexpensive. Yes, you've got to get a um, floppy drive, but hopefully you'll be able to source one of those somewhere, if not eBay um, or somewhere might be very charitable and sort of like chucking out a really old machine that's no use to them but it might have a floppy drive in it so that's pretty much it folks hope you enjoy the video and give it a like if you found it useful